Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is how to stop camera clipping in third person. So if I were to hit play, I'll show you what's going to happen. So sometimes you might get it where if you are near a wall and you rotate your camera like this, it's going to go inside the wall like so. And we obviously don't want that as that looks pretty terrible. What we want is instead, it's just going to kind of bounce off the wall and stay on this side. So that does happen by default when you start a new third person template map. However, sometimes a lot of people, they mess about with their character or they create a new character from scratch and they change it about, which then means the camera is broken, it's bugged and you get something like this. Again, many reasons why that might happen for you, but today I'm gonna to be going over a way to fix it. No matter what reason it's broken, this will solve the problem for you. So let me delete this code and I'll show you how we're gonna fix this. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our third person character blueprint. So for me that's going to be content browser, so control space, third person, blueprints, BP, third person character. Now if we go to the viewport, you might have something set up like this. So you've got the mesh and you've got the camera on the mesh, or you might have a camera room or a spring arm. But again, if it's broken, I'm going to show you how to fix it. So what we want to do is with just third person character self selected, we're going to add, and we're going to add the component of a spring arm like so. Now if you already have the camera room you can use that or you can delete it and start again like this. The camera room is the spring arm if they've just renamed it. So we're going to get that and then what we're going to do is drag the camera onto the spring arm so it's parented like so. So we have spring arm and then follow camera here like this. What we want to do is with the follow camera selected we're just going to set the location and rotation just back to 000 by default so it's going to be at the end of the spring arm. Then if we select spring arm here what we can do is we can then move where the camera is going to be. So what you might have done is you might have then just wanted the camera in a different location, so you moved it like this. That's not going to work because if we select the spring arm, you'll notice the end of it isn't lining up with the camera. So this here is going to be the collision for our camera. So that's where we want our camera to be, which is why we're making sure it stays there like so. So if you want to move the camera, what you're going to want to do is move the target offset like so and this will actually then move the camera. So if I to set this to 100 on the X, you'll notice it's gonna move like this or 100 on the Z and so on and so forth. But with the rotation, you can just change the rotation of the camera itself, that will work perfectly. So I want the target arm length to be a bit longer, so I'll set it to 400 and you'll notice that's now moved out perfectly like so. One more thing we want to do on the spring arm is make sure we take use pawn control rotation so the camera is actually gonna move how we want using the player's controls. One final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select third person character self and search for your and make sure that use control the rotation your is unticked so it is false. We can compile, save all of that, close it. Now if we hit play this should be working perfectly so we can move the camera as we normally would and if you were to go up to this wall, move the camera, it's not going to go in the wall, it's going to collide with it and stay on this side moving alongside the wall as you can see perfectly there. And again, this will work for any surface, even the floor, the walls, whatever. It's not gonna clip through. It's gonna nicely collide with it and stay working like this. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we've just set up a simple camera collision so that it's not gonna clip through walls. It's gonna collide with the walls or the floor or any surface we want so that it's gonna stay on this side and look nice and perfect for us. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.